Alright guys, I'm Kyle, and first off I want to start by getting you to think about do you actually know what processes your food go through before you actually consume them? Um, in fact, they actually go through a lot of processes, and one process that I'm going to be talking about today is going to be a food inspection. Uh, before food reaches the consumer, it all must be inspected, and the three uh, food inspection agencies that I'm going to be talking about today is the FDA, which is the Food and Drug Administration, the USDA, which is the United States Department of Agriculture, and the U.S. Department of Health. And uh, to start off, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, um, their responsibility is to protect the public health and to make sure that the nation's food supply stays safe. Um, it handles inspections by um, a few that they do. Um, they inspect the food labels, and they do this because they want to make sure that the product that you are buying is actually what the label says it is. Um, they also check for additives in food because a lot of companies like to get the most out of their products, so they'll add chemicals and stuff to the product to bulk it up and to make it cheaper. Um, the Food and Drug Administration employs more than 11,000 people, and according to the FDA.gov, there is a Food Moderation Act. Uh, this was signed by President Obama and is to prevent contamination instead of reacting to uh, contamination that has already occurred. Uh, next, I want to talk about the USDA, which is the United States Department of Agriculture. Uh, this mostly deals with the ag agricultural part of the food inspection. So, the, um, the USD consists of the FSIS, which is the Food Safety Inspection Service, and pretty much what they inspect is the meat, poultry, and egg products that and make sure that they're safe for human consumption. Um, they also check for labeling, just like the FDA, because a lot of times uh, companies like to add in cheaper quality meat, such as horse meat into your beef to bulk it up and make it cheaper for them, but still sell it at the same price. Um, and um, the USD grades meats, you can have a select choice or prime, so if you go to the store and uh, look at the meats, you'll see that they're graded for quality. And they also grade uh, such things as eggs, you'll see that they're like graded AA eggs or something. Um, and according to the USD.gov, the USDA is very old and it was first started by Abraham Lincoln in 1862. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to be talking about the U.S. Department of Health. Uh, this protects the health of American citizens. Um, it mostly works with state and local governments. Uh, they monitor and such, um, sorry, um, in Bucks County we have our own Department of Health, called the Bucks County Department of Health. So um, this means that in Bucks County, the departments go around to all the food industries that um, handle food and make sure that they're following all the rules that they need to. Um, and I'll have a little video about the food section here. Well, the health department does inspect all local restaurants on a routine basis in an effort to keep things like this from happening. News Channel 15's Randy Speak joins us now with more on that. Well, Heather, the health department averages about 25 inspections a day at anywhere that serves food, from restaurants and grocery stores to hot dog stands and booths at summer festivals. Overall, about 2,000 places. Inspectors visit most establishments twice a year, checking things like food temperatures, storage, preparation, and overall cleanliness. In most cases, violations are minor, but in some instances, restaurants are handed a critical violation that highlights a possible risk to customers. It has more potential to cause some type of foodborne illness outbreak or cause a public health hazard. The most common foodborne illness is the norovirus. Norovirus um, is easy to transmit from person to person and from object, and it can be transmitted through food. Since germs can be spread easily, what should you do to keep your family safe when you eat out? I think it's important to ensure that food handlers are uh, handling the food in a way that keeps it safe. 
meaning they're wearing gloves when they're handling anything ready to eat. A lot of people look at the cleanliness of the establishment itself. A lot of times you can see into the kitchen and see uh, what the cleanliness level is. Basically, the tables we sit down to eat. Um, if the table is dirty, I'm not very comfortable with staying either at that table or sometimes at the restaurant. If you want to learn about a restaurant's history, you can find every food step. Okay, so that gives you a little overview of uh, what the Department of Health does. Um, and according to the HHS.gov, the Health Department responds, uh, represents a quarter of all federal outlays and administers more grant dollars than any other federal program. And this <coughs> kind of makes sense because you can just think about how many food establishments are here in just Bucks County that need to go through inspection and get, make sure that they're safe. Um, and this, they also do inspections for everything down to like our school cafeteria, so there's a lot of them. Uh, in conclusion, we can see that the FDA, the USDA, and the U.S. Health Department are the three food inspection agencies that help keep the public safe. The FDA used, um, inspects mostly all the food products, but in cases like meat and poultry, that would be considered an inspection of the, the USDA. And the United States Health Department goes around and inspects all food service um, establishments to make sure that they're safe for human consumption.